the corner. Oh, hey, you have a plan. Thank you for that. Project where they're about to be in a few seconds. <laughs> okay, Chris. Ah, cat. I'm going to love on you aggressively to get out my frustration at the fact that you are grabbing at my arm and it hurts. Oop. He wriggled the heck out of there. He wanted nothing to do with that. He mashed out of my grab. How goes the range? Uh, definitely. I mean, I think more of the difficulty is coming from the fact that it's Clam Blitz than it is the Blaster, but I'm picking up on some things. Have you played on any teams? Absolutely. I, I captained one and I played on uh, the Grillers before then for about three years. How much of a time commitment is joining one? It really depends on the team. Um, if you're trying to be the best in the world, they'll play six hours a day. If you're just, you know, playing with some fellow A-rank players and they get together, you know, once a month, that's a thing that happens too. Um, what matters is that it is clear from all of the players who are deciding to form the team that, uh, what their goals are and what they expect of each other. So if you want to get into comp before you've ever even played any of the ranked modes and you're unranked and everything... That's totally valid as long as you find other people who are in that position. Now, most people are probably not going to go out and try and find teams at C-. They're probably going to, you know, at least get up to B where they've got a little bit of experience with how the modes play first. But I've seen, you know, A and B rank teams at tournaments. Um, In-person tournaments, too, that they travel for. Like, you just got to find the people whose goals match yours the best. And as long as you can successfully do that and, you know, not be a jerk and make them dislike you, I am dead. Well, that was that was a fun fun trade there. Um, then you're golden. And you got everything you need to play competitively. Uh, I will say that the majority of teams are probably going to have, like, maybe, you know three practices a week or something, maybe play like a couple hours. Like, if you're able to at least meet those activity requirements, then you're a lot more likely to be able to find a team. But theoretically, it doesn't make a huge difference. Oh, what is, okay, you're just running away. Oh, hi. Someone's coming in the left. Right? Maybe not. Oh, uh, crap. This is my job to be stopping. Normally as like a frontliner, I get annoyed at like my teammates for that, but no, that that is actually my my role, my position to stop. Alrighty, whatever. <sighs> We've got a DC, so even if we lose, this isn't really gonna count against us, but I would like to win. I would like to not be playing at the, the very lowest ranks. So that the the lower ranked players are having a good time. There's a lot more to learn once I get up to like A and S rank. I want to 
do have a rapid here. Oh god. Oh nice. Okay. That shouldn't be, you know, helpful to us, but it happened to be because they decided to back off and see if they needed to play defense. Oh man, they're all here. Stuck by me. Oh man. Good stop. Thank you, Brush. I don't have a lot of faith in this game going well at this point. Solo out plays are... Not as easy on this weapon. That's just how it works for the disconnect, unfortunately. Unless... Where are the cramps? Oh, we need to splat this guy. Oh, dang it! We were so close to actually pulling that back. Holy crap. Oh, this is a B plus. Well, B rank. I mean, it doesn't make a huge difference. I uh, lost a match in C rank, so I only skipped to B minus. And then lost two matches in B minus, so I only skipped to B plus. So it's been the uh, weakest mode for rank skips so far. But I don't think it would have been any easier on the GooTuber. I think it's just the Clam Blitz is a mode in the lower ranks where there's or a higher skill floor that players need to meet to be able to play it effectively. I'm a little bit more dependent on my teammates with this weapon than I am with a frontline weapon. What exactly can I even imagine under a team practice? What does that look like? Team practice is where all of the players, or at least enough players to have a full team, show up to work on getting better at the game together. It's a matter of learning how to play around each other, um, and a matter of learning how to use callouts to uh, accomplish more than you can in a solo environment. It's a matter of playing other teams you know, like playing scrims and trying to get better together. But it's also a matter of looking at recordings of your gameplay and trying to learn, okay, now that I have the time to sit down and actually watch this through carefully, what can I learn about what I should be trying to do differently? But uh, I'm game to do a little bit more here. We're now in a Clam Blitz rotation. Somebody's not a fan of Logan. I don't know which Logan. There's a lot of Logans. Which means that there's also a lot of dumb Logans. Make 
this. Oh, and the arrow sprays down. Beautiful. I cannot. Oh, perfect. What am I doing? Why? That's not a splashdown. What am I thinking? Everything GooTuber flashed through my brain right there. And I like, I could have done like three different things than what I did and lived. That was a little risky. I'm actually surprised to survive that. Dang it. Oh. Can you stop moving so I can shoot you, please? Oh, you're just beelining. Okay. Oh my god. They almost made it all the way. I figure it was more consistent to just get the unaware player in front of me. Than the... I guess I could have burst on my feet there. And potentially survived anyway. The charger wasn't going to help. So it was just a 1v1 at that point. Okay. I think against stronger players, though, uh, the 52 wins there. So going after the charger might still be the right play. They have a DC on their side, so this is going to be significantly easier than it has been so far. Which is to say we should definitely win. I would love to just missile in. Okay, let's pop those. And that'll clear them off the plat. So the clams. Oh, they picked up the clams. Shoot. Possibility. Maybe we just spot this out. There it is. Alright. Interesting. It, it didn't give me the, like, direct noise when I was shooting him there. Oh, that was so clutch. Go for it. Go for it. Get that in. We win if we hit that. Ah, uh, I got a little too short. Oh, well. It's easy to do on this map. I don't blame anybody for, you know, being new to the game and missing the basket here. It's really high up above the ground. You have to be in very specific positions to be able to hit it. We don't want to be here. That's where the last saw us. So we're going to throw the Booyah Bomb. Now that's some aim RNG for you. Where did this 52 go? Are they over here still? They are. Oh my god. Oh my god. I don't know. Wow. Can somebody hit them, please? They're just kind of up here. I can grab that and jump that in. I'll super jump it. Super jump it, please. Okay. We're just gonna run it. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Every game of Splatoon, everything is constantly going wrong, yes. That's an FLC quotation. Japanese. I am lucky that they did not swing. They were more scared of me than they should have been. Ashen Spark, not Apple Spark, mind you. Apple Spark is my teammate who's, who's X rank. Almost 
sounds like a Dark Souls 3 reference. I was actually on target with that shot and was just too far away. It was big sad. So they're gonna try and position for an immediate counter push. Oh my god. Parasol is messing me up so badly right now. You done goofed. Oh, I got distracted by the shiny thing. <laughs> oh no, we're not defending the basket at all. Fortunately, they're going to miss because they're going to get too, uh, I'm going to throw it from too far away. And then the others are going to feed in to try and save it. Nice. Okay. Brush over there. Booyah bomb. Oh no, they threw it over there. Hopefully that gives us some space on the map. You're not gonna score a lot from that, but oh my god, folks, we've got to defend. If they had fired one more shot with 52, they would have splatted me. But they instead switched to Booyah Bomb, which gave me all the time in the world. thing about panic button specials. Sometimes a special isn't what gets you out of the situation the fastest. that trade. Uh, teammate's just gonna go for it. And they made it in. Something, I suppose. You gotta get up nice and close in person. <laughs> this dies and we win the game. Nice. And the reason that I'm using V Heavy is I want to learn Stingray. Because I know how to use Booyah Bombs. I play K-Pro. Um, but... Um, Stingray is something that I never really learned. And uh, I'm very interested to learn it. Point sensors help you artificially raise KA. That is the best thing about the point sensor. Go forth, my teammates. Bring me my assists. KAD would be nice, I think, to have, but 
Oh. I also don't want people to like over focus on those stats because those don't matter a ton. unaware of what is happening in our base right now. Second oh, shoot. Wasn't a direct on the burst bomb. My blaster is bigger. See, what I did there was I baited the enemy player into rushing me, and then everyone just let them walk forward. Um, but I'm trying to bait the enemy team into rushing me so that they give away their position and my teammates can finish the fight. They're going to rush after the power clam and die to a bomb. Again, this is not a splashdown, and I don't know why I keep thinking to use it like one. Pretty good score, though. Like, for players who, you know, don't know how to keep the basket open, how to really make a strong clam blitz scoring push, every power clam matters. Go for this? This is a terrible idea. I was like, there's so many players there. I'd hit like three people at once with a single shot. It would be great. on here. Okay, that was closer than I would like it to be. But we do have the advantage that they have a DC. Swiffer seems to have a rough idea of what they're doing. This is a rank where I wouldn't be surprised to see people who just haven't played a lot of rank, and so they're like much better than they than someone who should be in B rank, but uh, they're finally returning to the game mode. Uh, Katie, this is not the time to be going over there. Fortunately, they. Do not have map. 
we just have to play safe and defensively. We know exactly where they, both of them are. Great pick there. Oh my goodness. It is up to Leo Yu. Good job, Leo Yu. Team 3 did pretty well for themselves. Is Grim a good weapon? It sees competitive use, yeah. I feel like I have a broken record saying this, but uh, I've seen it used in uh, Area Cup a number of times, which is crazy, because that's a Zones tournament. Luna or Clash would be more of a challenge? Yeah, those weapons are bad. <laughs> I, I do not like those as main weapons. They don't pay enough, they don't have enough range. It's like, you need them to slay, but... In the current meta, they're just going to get outranged. So they need to shark in order to slay. And in order to shark, they need paint. And they don't provide a lot of that paint themselves. It's just... You're demanding a lot of the rest of your team comp to be able to support having one of those on your team. If I'm going to learn Fizzy Bombs, I'd rather learn it on K-Machine. I think that could be a lot of fun. Yeah, Fizzy Spam is annoying. Torpedo Spam, it's like... It uses a lot of ink in its current form. Like, if all you're doing is throwing torpedoes, you're probably not having a huge impact. You're probably annoying the backliner or something, but the rest of the team should be able to deal with that. Teammate, the idea there was that you push in with me instead of backing up. Is nobody going to go and save it? No. Uh. So the teammate backed up there. What they should have been doing was pushing enemy players out of the way so that I could score. Like, the power clam holder is, you know, the president that you're trying to protect there. You're not trying to, you know, just play it super, super safe for yourself when you're in a numbers advantage and somebody else is capable of scoring on your team. Like, if you go in there and go down, but your teammate is able to score and like trade back for you, that's still a winning position. Clams. Oh my god. I would have thought that at least the, the impulse to build a power clam would lead them to go and grab what I was throwing down on the ground. If not, a knowledge of that that is a strategy, which I don't expect people to have at this point. Waiting to have enough ink for a burst bomb. Oh no, that was a miss that I cannot afford. Oh, this is 
mistake. Hopefully it helps my teammates stop it. No. I'm in a 1v2, but my team lost a 2v3. Okay, well. They all stood in one place and got killed by the same bomb, but that did not, uh... Not speak well of our defensive capabilities. I'm gonna see if I can bait them in here. God, and I got my feet painted immediately and died. So I knew that my teammates were gonna be a little bit slower out than I was from that position, so I was trying to put myself in a place where I was like drawing aggro for the rest of my team to come in and help. guys. Yeah, we don't even have a clam. That felt like wading through a swamp. Like every step I'm taking is not getting me anywhere. splashdown on their team. We have double splashdown on our team. Oh my god. And I was about to special again. I am really forgetting that I'm not playing the Gooch over here. I kind of just need to make hard reads on where the brush is going to go. My shots are so slow that they can kind of almost go on reaction for when I'm starting to shoot. Just like dodge away as soon as that's happening. Three splashdowns all at once. What a sight. shot too. Risky, yes, but nice nonetheless. There I had the hard read on like where he was going to be ending up. I tried to throw that. Good. I'm 
nervous that there's something else happening on the map right now. There, you, you go in close to the basket with the power clam, and then you back up. And a lot of the time, that'll get the enemy players to um, rush you, because they're worried, oh no, it's about to score! And they overcommit, and you get a splat that way. So that's, that's a trick that I'm using a lot at this rank. We don't have any plans to follow up with. Oh, we have one now. Uh, we're not going to rush forward and throw that in, though. And now this player is going to be like, Oh, I can just flank safely. Hoo -hoo. Look at my silly flank. Oh, look at how it is succeeding. Yeah, no. No flanks. Make this in. Okay, we're in the game. Beautiful. Yeah, there were DCs on both sides, thankfully. So we actually ended up having an even game out of that. The triple splashdown was really something special there. So lucky that that hit. I just anticipated that the heavy would be where they were. So, you know, if you look at them heading in that direction, you can kind of project where they're about to be in a few seconds. has been very decisive so far. <laughs> okay, Chris. They're trying to figure out how far they have to go to get clams in and uh, not succeeding. was interesting i grabbed the power clam but while it was like coming into my possession i was still able to throw a single clam i've been a latency thing there i'm lucky that that didn't actually cost us there because the the player who was shooting at me they could have splatted me in the meantime 
<laughs> yep, that's how that game went. Yeah, I mean, you can look at squid bagging as a, as a compliment or whatever. You can also look at it as a waste of time. Their basket was still open. If our teammates had known how to throw clams into it, they would have been costing themselves points for that. Potentially lost the uh, opportunity to defend the basket before KO happened. How have I been doing? I think I've lost once. Maybe I did once. Nice. Oh, they thought they could paint that wall for a second. Oh, come on. Come on, give, give this to me. Thank you. Oh. This is Jenkin, not Jenkins. Okay, guys. We're leaking. Push forward so they can't run all the way up. I don't know what dropped on. Nope. There's just no one in. That's me. Oh, that would have been the most beautiful shot. I got like a triple direct. Ah, I targeted the wrong player. <laughs> There's another squid bag. That didn't splat. Oh my god. They get in now. Nope, nope. He still doesn't know how to throw those in. And I don't think they know that they can actually push deeper into the base to pick it up again. Or like, go through clothes or something. Hit two different players. Rip. Ooh, well, that's bad. They should have this, though. Ah, uh, Dad aimed at the ground too much, and now we're distracted from a power plant that might score. And once again. <laughs> Man, they keep they keep doing that same player three times in a row who's just missed at the same exact spot. We're honestly lucky because there are a lot of these situations where they could easily have scored and taken lead. Oh, come on. Uh, I need to just first bomb there. So I think I did enough damage that a direct would have just killed. Stay safe there, Cobalt. I'm coming. Nice fight. Again, hard read. Wouldn't have done that in a real match. A tournament match or something. Someone stop them from doing that, please. Nice. And again, the one player left alive to throw the power clam was the splatter shot player who has still not figured out that you need to get closer to this basket. We are so lucky. Okay, good. Why am 
I challenging this? That was a terrible idea. I'm just counting on myself to hit a direct whenever that happens. Alrighty. Wacky game. They are greeting you since you are a well-known YouTuber. Yes, yes, of course, of course. Mm -hmm. No, Chris is still here. Oh, do you mean from B plus to B? I actually don't know. I haven't been keeping track. Chris, if you're watching this, you have to push all the way up to the little bump that is right in front of that basket to be able to throw clams in. If you throw it any earlier than that, you're liable to miss. Also, try jumping before you throw it. Jumping puts you closer to the basket and might give you just a little bit of extra distance. There's some people with hero weapons in B rank. Okay, well, they gave up this. Again, why am I popping a panic special? This is really bad. Like, I need to not be doing that. a situation where I didn't have enough ink for a burst bomb, so I wanted to use one, but I didn't have the resources. Nice. What? Oh. Come and get it. No, they're not coming to get it. Oh, oh hi. Something special, I guess. Kind of abandoned my team there. I didn't really want to try my luck of pushing back into that engagement. Oh no. Okay. I shot the torpedo instead. Jump RNG hadn't been so bad there, I would have been able to slap the Swiffer in time. Uh, yeah, they don't get there in time, but 
Get more points, which is good. Okay. deal with the threat that I pose to you, then uh, I'm just gonna take my time and shoot you in the back. Oh, man. Well, that was neat. I don't like the idea to keep pushing that direction. Might be able to re- Okay, that's fine. We They didn't have any power clams anyway. Only A minus. Man. Well, if we win this one hard enough, then we should be able to skip into S. 